Acronis Data Cloud is an innovative platform targeted at managed service providers, telcos, and resellers who would like to provide their customers with high-quality backup, disaster recovery, and data protection services. In turn, ConnectWise Manage is a sophisticated, user-friendly, professional services automation platform targeted at managed service providers, or MSPs, of any size and maturity level. It offers a unique blend of project management, customer service, sales, management, ticketing, and billing capabilities. By setting up an integration between the Cronus Data Cloud and the ConnectWise Manage platform, a managed service provider can catch two birds with one stone. It enables both provisioning and management of all the Acronis Data Cloud services directly from the ConnectWise Manage user interface. Let's consider a managed service provider who's been using ConnectWise Manage and wants to further differentiate themselves on the market by providing high-quality data protection services for their end customers. Therefore, it selects the Acronis Data Cloud as one of the most innovative and reliable data protection solutions available on the market. First, we'll show you step-by-step -step how the MSP can change the settings of both products to make them work together. Then, we'll demonstrate for you how the MSP can manage the Acronis Data Cloud backup service directly from the ConnectWise Manage user interface. Let's start with the settings. We'll assume the managed service provider has already signed up for the Acronis Partnership Program and has activated the Acronis Data Cloud account. Moreover, it also has an active ConnectWise Manage account. First, let's log into the ConnectWise Manage account. Let's create a new client for whom we'll provide a tailored bundle of Acronis Data Cloud services. Thus, navigate to New and then Company and complete all of the required information such as company name, company ID, address, and phone number. Since we're creating a new client who will be given a ramp up period, at this stage it's advisable to specify the company type as prospect. Later you can always change it to customer. Press the save button to complete the operation. Next, we'll create two special instances required to set up an integration between the two platforms, an API member and API keys. The API member is a formal account used to set up an API integration between the ConnectWise Manage and the Acronis Data Cloud platform. In turn, API keys are two strings of characters automatically generated and used to establish a secure connection between the two platforms. In order to create an API member, navigate to Systems and then Member and click on the API Members tab. Press the New Item button and provide all the required information such as member ID, password, and the first and last names of a person who will be in charge of all the admin issues related to the customer's company. Since we are setting up an API integration between the two platforms, select API for the license class. In the section marked System, select Admin for the role ID. Complete all of the remaining information. Please consult the ConnectWise documentation or the ConnectWise live chat to get more information about specific fields and options. In order to create API keys, navigate to the API keys tab. 
provide the description for the new API keys, and press the Save button. The system will automatically generate two string of characters, a public and private keys. Copy and save those keys onto your local machine. They will be required later when we'll set up an integration on the Acronis Data Cloud side. Please notice, for the sake of security, ConnectWise Manage keeps just the public key. Thus, if you happen to forget your private key, the only way to restore the whole integration between the two platforms will be to create a new set of API keys for the corresponding API member. Next, we will create three new types of services that the MSP will provide for the customer. Backup of physical servers, backup of physical workstations, and backup of mobile devices. Thus, navigate to procurement and product catalog. Press the new item button to create a new service. Complete all the required information, such as the product ID and description, product category, type, class, and price attributes. Press the Save button to complete the operation and return to the previous screen. Repeat the same procedure for the remaining two services. Finally, we need to create one more service type, a cloud storage service to store the backups. For our next step, we will create a new agreement between the MSP and the customer company. Thus, navigate to Finance and then Agreements. Press the New Item button to create a new agreement. Specify all the required information such as name and type of agreement and the start and end date. Press the Save button and navigate to the Additions tab. Press the New Item button and select a service type that will be provided to the customer. Change the default values for unit cost, unit price, and total quantity. 
For instance, if the customer company has two Windows machines, amend the default total quantity accordingly. It should be noted that ConnectWise Manage supports both prepaid and pay-as-you-go financial models. If you select the prepaid model for a specific service, you need to complete at least the following fields, product ID, total quantity, effective date, and canceled date. In turn, if you prefer the pay-as-you-go model, you need to specify the product ID, total quantity, and effective date. For prepaid services, the quotas are set up based on the total quantity field. In contrast, for the pay-as-you-go services, the quotas are set to unlimited. At the moment, ConnectWise Manage can only sync usage for quotas that were created based on the pay-as-you-go model. In this case, the field Total Quantity will display the information about the current quota usage for the corresponding service. If you would like to trace the quota usage for prepaid services, you should combine both the prepaid and pay-as-you-go services in one service bundle. In this case, the Total Quantity field for pay-as-you-go services will show the common quota usage. Press the Save button to complete the operation and repeat the same procedure for the remaining services. That's it for the ConnectWise Manage settings. Let's have a look at the Acronis Data Cloud settings now. Thus, log on to the Acronis Data Cloud Management Portal. And navigate to Settings and Integration. In the list of available integrations, select ConnectWise Manage. Provide the URL address for the ConnectWise Manage Portal and the name of the managed service provider. You should also provide the public and private API keys that you saved while modifying the ConnectWise Manage settings. Press the Save button to connect to ConnectWise Manage. Next, navigate to the Billing and Provisioning tab. Tick the Enable checkbox to activate the Billing and Provisioning feature. Let's map the existing services provided within the Acronis Data Cloud platform to the corresponding ConnectWise Manage services. Our customer company has one server and two Windows machines and one mobile device. Thus, we need to map the services related to the physical servers, physical workstations, and mobile devices. Moreover, we need to set up the storage quotas to enable the storage for the customer's backups. In the section marked Storage Mapping, we need to select the cloud storage that will be used during provisioning. In comparison to the obligatory storage quota mapping, the mapping of storages is an optional process. In particular, if this option is not enabled, the Acronis Data Cloud will use the default storage. It should be noted that only one storage can be allocated for all the client's devices. Moreover, you can also map local backups. This can be beneficially used by those customer companies that have to follow some strict organizational or industry-specific security policies and keep a copy of their backups on-site. In the section Group Provisioning, the MSP can create an admin account. We recommend selecting the Company Primary Account option only if the primary contact specified in ConnectWise Manage in the agreement is not a top manager. Otherwise, it's advisable to select email address and provide an email of the key account manager or IT specialist who will be in charge of all the admin issues related to this customer's account. A password for the admin account can be specified manually or generated automatically and submitted to the admin's email.
In the section Group Provisioning, it is advisable to enable the option Set Quotas to Zero if a company does not have active additions. In this case, if the ConnectWise Manage agreement is over, the corresponding Acronis Data Cloud services will also be disabled. Press the Apply button to save the changes. Navigate to the Group Mapping tab. Here you can view, configure, and remove mappings between the ConnectWise Manage accounts and the Acronis Data Cloud groups. Select the desired company customer in the list and choose one of the options displayed in the right pop-up panel. If the customer company already has a profile in the Acronis Data Cloud, click Map to Existing Group. Otherwise, select Provision New Group. Select the appropriate business partner and customer from the drop-down lists and press the Map button to finalize the mapping process. Press the Apply button to save the changes. Now, navigate to the Ticket Synchronization tab. Here, you can enable automatic creation of ConnectWise managed tickets for the Coronas Data Cloud alerts. Tick the Enable box to activate the Ticket Synchronization feature. Select the appropriate ConnectWise managed service board from the drop-down list. Specify the conditions for creating a new ticket for the similar or similar alert. For example, if a customer's backup has failed, the system creates a ticket in the ConnectWise managed system. This ticket is processed by the MSP and the issue is marked as resolved. However, in a couple of days, the situation repeats. Thus, the MSP can consider this as a new issue or as an indicator of a problem that was not completely resolved in the past. For each type of Acronis Data Cloud alerts, you can specify the type, status, and priority of the corresponding ConnectWise managed ticket. Based on good practices of our partners, we recommend disabling the mapping for activities succeeded with warnings to eliminate excessive warnings that are in the most case false alarms. Yoohoo! We're done with the settings. Are you excited to see how it works? Let's have a look. We assume that the MSP already added all the required devices to the customer profile and installed the backup agents on those devices. Let's create a backup plan for one of the Windows machines and start it. Wow, we got an alert that the backup failed. Let's switch to ConnectWise Manage now and see what's displayed there. Thus, log into the ConnectWise Manage and navigate to Service Desk, Service Board. On the top of the screen, select the MSP location, business unit, and service board assigned to the selected customer company. As you can see, the system created a new ticket that contains all the technical information about the issue. This information was automatically imported from Acronis Data Cloud. Thus, the MSP can allocate the required resources and promptly resolve the issue. It should be noted that the synchronization process between the Acronis Data Cloud and ConnectWise Manage can take up to 15 minutes. You have an opportunity to try out our innovative platform right now. Just go to our website at www.acronis.com and request a trial account for the Acronis Data Cloud. Have fun!